Daniel from Daniel Dialatone. And I wanted to, um, well, first of all, apologize for the continuance of my uh, poorly produced videos. I don't have a GoPro. All I have is my Galaxy 7 phone and, well, if you don't like it, then stop watching and go somewhere else. Anyway, uh, the last video I did, I think it's the last video I did, I did, I would have to look again, but I'm pretty sure the last video that I did was, um, on the HS8 video, um, and the first part was focusing on the limiter bypass, and, uh, working on, uh, this speaker, and... Uh, it was sent in. He thought that maybe it was actually a HS8, but uh, didn't take long to ascertain or realize that it was actually an HS80, and so it was a little bit of a different upgrade. Um, the upgrade actually required more parts than the HS8 because the uh, extra filtering on the uh i think it's on the mid-range i can't remember what's extra but you know there's a couple extra features on that so um and some of the value you know different cap values so it was a completely different modification so uh but also uh well i had um took a while to ascertain as to whether or not the limiter bypass is still applicable here and uh, it turned out to be just fine um, here is a schematic and I'm going to circle here the critical uh, the critical things that you want to remove one is this uh, this is a jumper it's right there and uh, and these four transistors and and because because we've removed those I just kind of part of the upgrade if there's things that aren't used I just like to clean up the board you know um, so I do get rid of this this and this uh, and that and that um, so here's, if you want, if you guys know how to do a little screenshot, there it is. Those are the, uh, the components that I remove. And if you're not sure how to re read this schematic, um, well, yeah, so here it says, you know, our, um, R622, he's kind of, where was that? Where was R622? Anyways, so, you know, there's corresponding numbers on this side of the board, so. Um, so I guess uh, for you to be able to, to put two and two together, uh, here's, here's this part. Uh, this, this is a completed and get that to uh, get in there there and I'm gonna you know I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this and I'm just gonna get some shots from around the board and you can um, you just take some screenshots just pause and take a screenshot of this these are all the components that are removed and uh, sure enough it works just as well. Uh, base is opened up a little bit more and yeah. Um, so yeah, it works there too. Uh, obviously, anyone can kind of do what I do, which is just, you know, I I said to create a parts list of, I, I removed pretty much every every single other component on here and upgraded all the caps 
Um, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what else to say above that. Um, this is just for the folks who may have come across my HS8 video but wanting to do the same thing to their HS80 of removing that limiter. Uh, this is how you do that. Um, if you've never done electronics before, you know, maybe just watch some other YouTube videos on how to desolder things and uh, maybe practice a little bit. Uh, the important thing is that I, me putting this out there does not make me responsible for what you do. Um, I'm just putting this information out there. It's your responsibility to to do it in a way that you don't accidentally, uh, you know, put a solder bridge somewhere. Uh, that is something that can happen, you know. Um, although I can't see any. Yes, I'm torrenting something. <laughs> uh, not too many possibilities of doing a solder bridge on here, but you know, a solder bridge is when you're desoldering or soldering something, and you accidentally, you know, a little a little blob of solder will. Um, actually, there's not too much. Well, it's like these little tiny resistors. Uh, yeah, these little tiny resistors here. If I can get to zoom in there, these tiny little resistors. Um, you know, sometimes you might be handling your iron and you may just accidentally just kind of brush across uh, a component like that. You may not notice that you're doing it, that you've done that. And you'll, uh, you know, it could be a component that, could be a component that's going to ground and it, and it's carrying like a lot of DC voltage or something like that. And you turn it on and start smoking and you, <laughs> or something. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, so I, I if for new people, I think that's the absolute most important thing to be aware of. Um, just to look for solder bridges after you're done. Uh, here's a nice magnifying glass. Uh, I forget how powerful it is, uh, but you know, uh, it, it's nice for. Uh, actually, I think that's kind of yeah. See you. Uh, Sometimes it's, it, it'll, it's hard to see a, a solder bridge from, you know, well, yeah, that's working pretty good. But if there is a, if there is a solder bridge, uh, you'd be able to use your magnifying glass and it would be real obvious. But when you're when you're looking at it from this far away, you know, it's not so obvious. So uh, definitely a magnifying glass anytime. Uh, even me, you know, uh, I've. I've been doing this for a long time and I'll always uh solder, you know little solder bridge accidents happen to me still sometimes so every time I'm done I uh, I always inspect everything in fact that's uh for electronics that's uh that's a little saying that I use uh you cannot cannot expect until you inspect um uh, that's a for sure thing to go go by anyways uh yeah i guess a couple other um things uh yeah if, so if you are interested in how to upgrade this stuff uh don't ask me just go on you know there's that uh pro audio forum gear sluts there's uh you know DIY forums and how to do that stuff, but if you just want to, if you got some money laying around and you want to trust someone who has been doing this for a very long time, please message me. Um, but do not message me to ask me what parts I use and all that, especially when it comes to the op amps, because uh, um, I have, I don't know, that, that's sort of my. My secret sauce a little bit I um, uh, working with op amps you know I've taken I spent a lot of time shooting different op amps uh, against each other and I've come to know what all the different flavors are between them 
and uh, it's sort of what allows me to um, listen to a device and uh, kind of hear what things are lacking and oftentimes I'll use either a cap or an op amp that I know that it's going to uh, improve it you know um, and I'll also shy away from other op amps that I might otherwise use or an op amp that other people might otherwise use because they've read it on a forum but it could be a situation where in this particular device uh, not this one but you know uh, any other particular device I might be looking at at the time uh, if uh, let's say the, the device is already kind of bright sounding there are some really awesome hi-fi op amps that are uh, that really not you know add you know high end but they kind of they have a way of accentuating uh, you know a high end part uh, and um, and if you have a device that's already high end heavy already uh, you wouldn't want to use that op amp there and that's a mistake a lot of people make they'll use the same op amp in every single device and every single um, part of the circuit board uh, even though there's some parts where there's other op amps that are better and some op amps that kind of take away or add too much something of, those, of that nature so uh, that is why anytime you see any of these upgrades being uh, uh, presented uh, if you want to go get the whole thing done definitely contact me and uh, um, even though I don't do this full time uh, uh, this is sort of my my hobby you know I did it full time and this is actually <laughs> uh, maybe I'll uh, let's see here because uh, I every single video I've been doing I kind of go on and on how I did this for this other pro audio company in Chicago uh, um, but I'm actually gonna not say their name this time because I'm gonna keep writing their coattails even though it's sort of my coattails because I kind of and responsible for a lot of parts of their sound but I'm not gonna keep going there but yeah that's definitely why though you, you want to uh, maybe consider me doing it because you know I've um, I know how to do these upgrades put it together you know often oftentimes there's there's some things that will go wrong with an upgrade um, even if you've done this a million times and you got to be able to troubleshoot and you know so that's something that I can do anywho yeah I know I'm going on and on and on but um, just sort of, sort of revealing things that I do uh, with my service uh, to help you decide to it or not if you want to take it on yourself or let me do it but, yeah, uh, okay. Talk to you soon.